What's up guys, my name is Os Wayne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so today is all about the best stretches that you can do to grow taller starting today. Now guys, if you don't know who I am from the ages of 17 to 18 ish, I grew from about five foot nine to about six foot four, six foot five ish. Now both my parents are five foot nine. So whatever I did happened to maximize my height growth genetics. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be completely transparent. I actually only did one of the exercises in this video and it's going to be the hanging exercise. Now this is probably going to be the king of all of these stretches, but it's going to help decompress that spine. All of these exercises will help decompress the spine so that we can fully maximize our high growth genetics. There's a lot of other high growth videos and they do not really emphasize on just decompressing the spine. But as a personal trainer, I've actually done quite a bit of research and these, in my opinion, will be the best stretches that you can do to grow taller. So without further ado, guys, let's roll. First of all, guys, if you're new to my channel, I'd love if you smash that subscribe button. I'm growing an amazing community on this channel. Now, guys, also follow me on Instagram at Oswing with two S's. I post some really fire content on that platform as well. So let's go. All right, guys, so we are starting off the stretching routine with quite simply the most basic but simple and just king of stretches in my opinion. This is just going to be a dead hang. So find a good pull up bar and just hang. You typically want your hands in a good neutral grip about shoulder width apart. And guys, you wanna hang for as long as you can because a lot of times your grip strength will actually give out before the stretch is actually fully finished. So maybe you wanna do three sets, maybe four, maybe five, depending on how long you can hold it. But I suggest about 30 second increments if you can hold it that long and maybe do three sets. Now you can do this maybe every day you go to the gym, just every time you think about it, or maybe just have a more typical protocol of about three times per week. But this will be very effective in decompressing this spine. Okay guys, so we are starting off this next routine with some arm swings to begin. So this is a great stretching routine to just really get those muscles ready to just get this full stretching routine and overall it's just going to be a good stretch to really knock out guys. Okay guys, next up, this is going to be a quite simple exercise, but pretty much guys, we're just going to spread our legs about 125% shoulder width. So just slightly wider. Okay, so we, we're gonna do that and then we're going to take the right arm and just take it to that right leg. Now you'll notice that my arms, men, they are very, very long. So I can't touch my toes actually because my arms go way past my toes. So I go like wrist to the ground essentially, just because my wingspan is actually seven feet. Okay guys, now we are going to go to the other side and we are going to go left arm to left leg. So the exact same thing on the other side. Now we typically wanna hold each of these for about 30 seconds or so. And then you can do a couple sets of these, but typically I'm just gonna do all of this just in one huge cycle and then call it good. Okay guys, now we're just going to go straight down the middle. And so once again, guys, my wrists are just going straight to that ground. But if you are on the shorter spectrum when it comes to arm and length, you can probably just touch those fingertips onto the ground. So you should really feel this in the lower back, especially, and then those hamstrings and maybe a little bit of glute action as well. Okay, guys, next up, we are going to take this right arm and then we are just going to twist to the left. So you should especially really feel it in that spine area in the lower back. You should feel a lot of just spinal decompression. And then obviously you should feel a little bit of stretching in the tricep as well which will just feel good in general, but we are primarily shooting for that spine decompression to do this exercise. Okay guys, now we are just going to switch it up to the other side, so left arm, and then we will be twisting to the right. And once again, it's just doing the exact opposite on this end, and it's going to feel nice and good on that spine. Okay guys, now we are officially on the ground. And now we are just going to lie back fully with that back just straight on the ground. You can put a mat down, maybe a yoga mat, something like this, but we actually don't want too much cushion whenever we do these. Now we're just going to bring those knees to the chest, hold this for about 30 seconds or so, okay? Now guys, we are just going to bring one leg down, but then keep that other leg on the chest. This will just increase the range of motion to specifically target that one leg a little bit more. Now guys, we're going to hold this for about 30 seconds once again. And then once it feels quite stretched out, then we're just going to bring that leg up and then fully extend it and then come back as far as we can. This helps if you have a partner, somebody that will help stretch you because they can help bring you back a little more than you are able to do yourself. 
Okay, guys, now we are going to do a figure four stretch. So now we are going to take that knee and then bring it across our chest and try to touch that ground if possible. So you want to hold your leg and then your knee at the same time that you are doing this. Now, this is amazing to really just twist and decompress that spine. And it is just fabulous exercise. Okay, guys, now we are just literally going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So literally just rotate and do the exact same thing with the other leg. Okay guys, up next we'll be doing a butterfly pose, but instead of focusing on bringing those knees downward to the ground as much as possible, like most people emphasize with this exercise, we'll actually be in that pose and then be stretching forwards so that you will really feel it, especially in that lower back. You will just feel it really being stretched out during this exercise. Once again, we wanna hold for about 30 seconds with this one, okay? Now guys, up next we have the child's pose. Now, you pretty much just want to lie down on, and you want the glutes to be all the way to the heels, and then you wanna reach out in front of you as far as you can, okay? And the more that you reach out far in front of you, you will feel it more and more in that lower back. This is amazing to just really decompress, guys. So just do this for about 30 seconds or so. This is, in my opinion, one of my favorite lower back exercises, lower back stretches. I absolutely love this one. Okay guys, now we are just going to go from that to just more of a lower back stretch. So you're just going to come up just like a little yoga pose and then you are just going to really stretch that lower back and it should feel really, really good whenever you do this one as well. So once again, we're holding for about 30 seconds and this one is also one of my favorites for that lower back stretch. And last but not least, guys, we'll be going from this position to a down dog. Now this is a yoga pose and you will look a little bit strange doing this, but it is amazing to just really decompress that spine, guys. So yes, once again, hold this for about 30 seconds and then this will conclude your stretching routine. If you do this daily, it'll take you about five to 10 minutes. Now guys, also be sure, never ever stretch cold muscles. So this is going to be most advantageous post-exercise. This, this can be a little bit of hit cardio, maybe after you just hit five to 10,000 steps, maybe like on the treadmill, like hitting incline, whatever it is, guys, we wanna have the heart rate going, we want blood flowing all throughout the body because this will maximize all of these stretches. If you stretch the cold muscles, this may promote injury much more so than we would actually like. Now guys, I am a certified personal trainer. If anybody watching this needs help with their fitness goals, I will not work with you if you are just wanting to grow taller. I'm going to make that completely transparent. But if you're interested, hit the link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And yeah, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Just incorporate these stretches into your new routine to grow taller. Now guys, once again, please subscribe to this channel because I'm growing an amazing community on this channel. And also guys, like this video to push it out to the YouTube algorithm. That is it guys. I love each and every one of you. Peace.